guys i just woke up 36.6 <clears throat> i feel so much better last night i took cortisone i took everything that i had to took to take sorry and i made my meditation yesterday the cool showers everything so i stayed active i ate well and it took some time to fall asleep but after falling asleep guys it's 12 <laughs> it's noon and i feel so relaxed i feel very nice i uh, i slept so so good it's been a while that i didn't sleep that i wasn't sleep so good oh my god my english right now <laughs> it's so bad but i feel very nice i don't have fever i feel also the red spots for the stress are not there anymore because i know they disappear with sleeping because it's made mostly for stress even there in the pubic area i don't feel it anymore yesterday night last night i felt it a bit but now it's okay it's also because of sleeping so Last night I couldn't sleep that much, tonight I slept, so it was rejuvenating. So now I feel nice. Now let's go to have breakfast. Day two, it's also, it's just better. Very, very nice. So I feel much better. The only thing is the voice, but I'm curing it, of course, with the other thing, the other uh, recovery process. And today I'm not gonna take the medicines for fever anymore because I don't have fever anymore. But I'm gonna take the antibiotic for the pubic area and also the red spots and the stress. So to cure it, definitely I'm gonna go for the antibiotic for this kind of uh, infections and inflammations. And by the way, let me tell you guys, I never took so many medicines. I hate medicines. I don't like the fact that you have a pill and that it resolves everything in your body. I don't like it. I prefer doing it by myself, just healing by myself and recovering. I think the body can do it by itself. But you know, it's the procedure and it's a pandemic. So everybody wants you to take this so that you recover as soon as possible so that you can infect others. So it's the procedure and I have these infections. So the antibiotic and all these medicines is the things that I have to do. As less as I can take them, the better it is for me. So I'm trying to take as less as possible. But that is still enough to heal like they want. I'm not touching anything at home. Everything that I touch, I disinfect my with alcohol my hands before. So that I don't affect anyone. Right now they're all good. So I, I think that I didn't... Uh, give my family the COVID. I hope so. I really hope so. It will be a problem. Uh, and by the way, so yeah, no medicines. I try to take as less as possible, enough. But I also try to do some different kinds of oriental style medicines like yoga, like the breathing exercises, like the cold exposure, some other methods that are more natural to me the meditation, the visualizations, the other things that I already do, which is all here. I think as it's all here, it's all mindset thing. So yes, maybe not 100%, but the majority of them, everything is controlled by the mind, guys, by the, by your brain and your body. So I think it helps a lot to be with a good mindset, with a positive mindset and be clean by that. So that's it. We also have really good neighbors that bring you medicines and everything and bring us the supplies. That's very, that's very nice. Of course, we pay for them, of course, uh, but they are nice to go and buy with our money the things that we need. Hello, guys. Good morning. Oh, sorry for the light, Alexa. Accendi la lampada. Ok. Kind of better. Alexa, cambia la lampada in azzurro. Ok. Alexa, alza la luminosità della lampada al massimo. Ok. Ah, oh, much better. So, guys, good morning. Good morning, it's day three. I feel much better. Uh, the only thing that 
changed yesterday i didn't vlog much because it didn't change much i just felt better i also made some live streaming i also made some content and i also did a dancing workout as my usual on saturday i did everything that i had to do so that was pretty cool the only thing at night i also had a cheat meal i had a pizza look at this I had a pizza because I always have pizza at Saturday night, so I thought, you know what, let's have a pizza. The only problem is that my, oh, and I also changed, I didn't take the fever and flu medicine anymore. I don't take it anymore because I don't have fever, but I uh, I keep going with the cortisone and uh, tonight I'm going to take less cortisone because, you know, it's a scale. When you take cortisone, you cannot stop right away. You have to take, for example, two pills, then one pill, and then for a couple of days, one pill and then zero. Um, you have to slow it down. And I'm taking the antibiotic. So for the pubic area and for the uh, spots, I think... These are the only things that I'm taking right now, besides the thing that I was already taking for my boys. So that's it. And the only problem is that my mom yesterday started to, fe to feel a little weird. So I hope I didn't uh, give my parents the, the virus, but it's very probable because I... Uh, when I discovered it, it was already after a couple of days that I was in engaging normally with my family. Because, you know, you, you don't discover it right away when you take it. Uh, and also right now, she helped me so much and she didn't care about taking it too much because she was she wanted to help me. You know, I'm her child. So I always wore a mask and I always paid attention and she always paid attention. And even I was disinfecting my hands with hand gel and everything. Didn't touch anything in, the, in rooms and stayed here in my bedroom. But the point is, she always come inside here and help me and clean the bedroom uh, because she doesn't want me to do it by myself. But from this today, of course, I'm going to do it by myself. And she also prepares food for me. And she also, she she works as a mom. She's my mom. I love her. Uh, I really hope that she's fine. Yeah, if she's not fine, I'm going to take care of her uh, as she did for me. Of course, last night when I felt so bad, it was a nightmare night. She stayed with me for one hour uh, until I fell asleep, giving me medicines and everything. So it's hard that you don't give your parents um, if you live with them, the coronavirus, because even if you try to stay out of contact, it's really hard because they are your parents, at least here in Italy, where I live in my family, we are very close contact to each other. Uh, so it's really hard and you cannot go to the hospital. I cannot go to another place and, and they cannot go either because they are on a list of quarantine people. So we have to stay on, in the same house. So that, that's it. Now I'm going to have uh, breakfast and see how she is. Sorry guys, I didn't record today, it's already the end of day three. Because nothing actually special happened today, it's Sunday. I rested a little bit, I had to do all my routine, my stuff. Tomorrow is the 1st of February, so I have also my monthly routine. <clears throat> today, better, nothing special. I decreased the amount of medicines. Unfortunately, my mom, yes, probably she's positive. Tomorrow she has the test, but I think she's positive. I'm going to take care of her as well, also with my dad. And today's okay. I just have a little bit of cough tonight. I don't know why, uh, but I hope it will get better with uh, sleeping. That's it. Good night. Matte, what are you doing here? Una saettina nera. I feel a little bit of cough and I feel a little bit ill, but I'm happy because I just received a Hyalogy portable mesh nebulizer that I ordered yesterday. So for my voice and my throat, because I feel a bit stuck here now with phlegm and everything in my nose, I feel it's stuck. So I'm happy that I received it today. <laughs> Level of happiness 
in uh, quarantine, be happy for a new nebulizer <laughs> for your voice and throat. That's insane. I was thinking about the things that I enjoy. Uh, guys, remember, do what you really enjoy doing. Don't do what other people want you to do or what you think it would be cool to do or what would make you money. Don't think about that. Just do what you really enjoy doing. Have faith and everything else will come as a side effect uh, if you start enjoying really what you're doing. I'm trying to figure out what I really like doing, so I'm still in the process. This is the double jack. Roll that lead forward and make your sit-ups and work out more challenging. Try doing this on a small lean plank as that same kind of work you're doing against the ground. Everyone, stand up and let us step forward with your rear foot and aim for a lean plank. Keep your hips and shoulders up and keep So guys, yes, I just went to eat and I just had a little of MMA workout, so to stay active. I feel a bit, you know, here, it's all stuck here, nothing special. My dad starts to feel a little ill, a little sick, but I guess that's normal. <laughs> I guess I guess everyone in this house is going to take it. Uh, it's very hard to, I mean, you or you just quarantine yourself in your bedroom, but my family is an Italian family, they don't act like that, so... It's really hard. Uh, I think it's just something that we have to accept uh, and we're gonna help each other as, uh, as much as possible. My mom uh, is not that ill, so that's good, that's good news. Oh, and my brother who lives in the house near of mine, uh, he's negative, so that's fine. Hello guys, it's day four or five <laughs> i don't even remember yet uh, i'm i'm sorry if i don't record that much but i'm really struggling also with myself because you know staying at home uh and being quarantined the whole time it's e it looks easy but it's actually not uh more moreover for a person like me that keeps evolving and keeps want to do stuff so it's really hard and also the, there is this clubhouse now and I should spend more time on it because it's a new platform and you can grab a lot of attention from it. But I really don't like it. I really don't like the fact that you, that you always have to keep asking and promoting yourself and asking for permit to say something and having to always be good. You know, I don't like it. I'm trying... Today I also had a meditation. I'm trying in this period to free myself a little bit more from routines and chains and try to look what I really, who I really am and what I really want to do. So probably in the future, I'm also going to start making videos just on things that I really want to make videos about and not just because I have to release a video because it's Wednesday. I'm going to just make a video whenever I'm ready, whenever I feel it's nice. And so letting go, letting go more, controlling less and feeling more from the inside, feeling the guts and stop doing all the routines that I always wanted to do, that I always do, sorry, every day, just because I have to. Uh, I'm going to just, if I want to meditate the whole day, I'm going to meditate the whole day. If I want to uh, go and travel, I'm going to just pick my luggage and travel. If I want to, you know... It's also struggling because I made a lot of plans and I'm making a lot of plans for traveling. And I think my mind already shifted into that mindset of traveling and going abroad and making that change in my life. But I'm still here. So my mind really uh, hot, struggles to find that balance. But I wanted to tell you that. And I also have a package here. So I'm going to unbox the package. And I tell you, it's confirmed it's official my mom is positive so i'm really sorry for that but she's strong she had breast cancer so her immune system is not the best one in the world too but we're gonna keep we're gonna take care of her for sure and my dad still cannot have the test because he doesn't have symptoms and in italy right now you cannot have a test or you pay a lot but you cannot have a test if you don't yeah, if you don't have symptoms. And another thing, oh yes, this is what I expected. That's cool. The view shield. 
this is a thing that I was expecting for a while. Thank you, ViewShield, by the way, it's a gift. They sent me this. It's a mask. It's a mask to stay at home. <laughs> nice, finally, oh, I needed this. Oh, wow, all right. So look at this, View Shield. You know why? It's cool. It's not sponsored, it's just a gift. Done because of this. There you go. How is it? <laughs> so that's it. This is nice. This is good. I mean, thank you. Thank you a lot for that. This is really helpful because it's also clear. Uh, it's nice. I'm going to wash it, of course, and maybe use it more uh, here at home. So another thing, one last thing, because uh, how I feel, I feel good. I have cough. Uh, I don't, I started to not feel taste anymore that much i can still feel and smell the taste but not too much and i always have something in my nose that really like almost like when you when you go under water and the water keeps going on your nose and it really hurts it's very annoying so this is how i feel but i don't have fever everything was okay down there is a little bit better and also, um, uh, they started to open everything again here in Italy. So today, no, yesterday, they opened everything again. So not everything, but it's a uh, yellow zone, which means it's a little bit better, even in my area. So people can go outside, actually, until uh, 10 p.m., I think. Uh, and stores are starting to work again. Restaurants are starting to work again. So that's nice. But I'm stuck at home. And on the 9th, I have the next test, the molecular test. So I'm gonna see if I'm positive or not. Again, I really hope that I don't. And it was, and I want to just say this because uh, it's so stupid. Uh, yesterday I was eating with my parents, having dinner with my parents, and you see the media, you know? See, like until yesterday, until two days ago, the media kept saying always the same things. Uh, people want to go out, people want to go out, people want to work, people want to work. This, uh, the economy is going bad, everything's going bad, everything's closed, and etc. 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 Now that everything's open, yesterday, first news of the day yellow zone, everything's open, too many people outside, people are concerned about this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's a, an infinite loop. It's a continuous loop. They close us and then the people uh, complain because it's, everything's closed and then they open and they complain because everyone is around. Are you kidding me? I, I really, I'm really starting to lose faith in this. <laughs> I'm really starting to lose faith. I don't know how the world will be. I don't know how we will overcome this. I don't know if we have to wait for the cure or the vaccines or if everybody has to take it before everything changes or maybe it's just the new world and this is the future and the present. I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make it that. Thanks, guys. This is for day five. Doing some yoga. Yoga this time because I cannot use the gym because we should disinfect it and we don't want it. So I'll just do yoga for this period of time. <laughs> 